saying it's yeah. it's the projects where you want to hear uh, the Betty, not the. Uh, well, you know, I'm sorry to say the right that way, but that's the projects we want to hear about. Uh, so we can input yeah. about the projects. So, so yeah. my, my role, my role is to is yeah. to work with you guys yeah. to yeah. help you interface with the projects yeah. and what's going on, yeah. Yeah. and so that you I have a common point of yeah. of contact so that. Um, I just don't you know, like, to people. If you need to, no. you know, if there's something going on that you don't know how to interface with, you talk to me. Yeah. And I so that kind of leads us to the uh, next agenda item because we kind of have to. You're more or less done. Yeah. yeah, I'm done. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, which is, uh, okay, I just want to make sure, just to let everybody know, the uh, second agenda item, Tenderloin Loving Food, is not here. It's, not, it's now uh, 1204. Is that a uh, restaurant or? Yeah, it's a, it's on the agenda. It's uh, it's well, we all love food down here, don't we? <laughs> but but anyway, it's a new restaurant uh, located at 393 Eddy Street, uh, Burmese uh, Food, um, and I had directly contacted the uh, owner to come and do a presentation, and he said he'd never been to the police station, but yet yeah, he said uh, he's known about the channel for many years. So. Uh, uh, other uh, topics and then for announcements. Um, so to our number four, does anybody, Eddie, or anybody have any uh, topics or announcements? Well, I, I would like, since we have, do we have the latest on here from the MTA that, that you know, because it always has something, the MTA always has something on, on the works of uh, what's going to impact this neighborhood in the next, say, six months, something that's on your drawing board that will be impacting. Because uh, I know that there are going to be plans. So what we yeah, 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 back yeah. here on the bottom, it says uh, our email address on the back page of the uh, Central City uh, the, the uh, uh, agenda. It says the uh, who to contact uh, and to try to get agenda items. Uh, and you could forward, you can do an inquiry, or whatever, call them to us, uh, my email address, and we'll try to get them on the agenda. Uh, we can't necessarily do that now because you've got to do is about without details. Well, and and I'm more than willing to do that and send you something for your thanks. If that's sure, right. we are right now. We have nobody, so um, the um, meeting's over. I mean, I'm just saying we have nobody on, on the agenda so so far. So, uh, is there any other announcements, uh, Betty? Okay, yeah. <coughs> Go ahead. Me? Yeah. yeah. Hi. Um, we have a ballot initiative on the uh, in 2016. It's going to be the, um, the Sean Parker Initiative or AUMA. And it's going to criminalize people for cannabis. It's going to—they're calling it a le it's fake legalization. So there's going to be more information about it in the future. But I'm just alerting you. It's on, it's the June ballot on the November ballot. Okay, well, it's this year, but the, um, so I'm just I'm telling you. Yeah. Time, there's a big, there's a huge war going to go on about this. Just get ready right. for it. Cool. Is there anything else, Denise? Uh, no, thank you. All right. I have a show today. That's it. Yeah. Um, I, we didn't quite have the flyers ready, but uh, at the Bodecker Park, Friends of Bodecker Park uh, was um, partnering with the Demonstration Gardens. Anyway, we're going to start something called, tentatively we're calling it Art in the Park, which is going to be more the emphasis on performing art. We're going to have, uh, hopefully, be tenderloin musicians, uh, tenderloin uh, poets, spoken word, and then maybe a visual artist that would be um, also bring their work, a few pieces of their work. It's going to be on us one Saturday afternoon a month. We're still in the planning <coughs> stages, and we're having a meeting this, um, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday afternoon, which is uh, the 26th of March in the afternoon, uh, 3 to 4, just to plan. <coughs> and so we, uh, anyone that might be interested or that knows some artists, performing artists and uh, visual artists that might want to participate, uh, that would be great because we want to, as, as I said, the emphasis will be people from the, from the neighborhood. A uh, place for them to perform. It's going to be inside in the clubhouse in the activity room. Uh, there's acoustic music at this point. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know. So it's a, a Saturday the 26th, 3 to 4 uh, planning meeting about the art in the park. Is there anybody else? Um, so uh, just a couple of cleanup issues. Uh, one is uh, not sure when the uh, next uh, TFC may, meeting may be because we might change our meeting time again. Thank you. Um, finding out that Thursdays might be the best time because of the fact that Thursdays are also the same day as the uh, Planning Commission. And if it's the same day as the Planning Commission, then we can't get some of the speakers to show up because they'll say, well, we have to get the Planning Commission. We can't come and do a presentation. 
here. Um, and uh, we don't want to mess around with the time. I mean, you, we can try to do all kinds of different times, but it's, it, it really becomes a nightmare with trying to book the, the, the online time, and then um, we don't want to be losing our uh, following. Uh, we did uh, update uh, uh, various places uh, that uh, the TFC uh, announcements have been, and we go again. If we change, we'll have to uh, do that again. Um, I also want to point out that for this particular meeting, um, we were on Hoodline, uh, Epicenter, uh, Next Door. Uh, we did a lot of outreach for this meeting uh, because we didn't want to, I didn't want to see people being lost, but it looks like we might have to go through another transition of um, changes again. Um, it's taken up a lot of my time that I don't expect, didn't expect it to see happen. Um, and of course, uh, we, I'm always open to, uh, again, sending me an email uh, about people's ideas for the agenda, but also if they have any uh, ideas about time. It, it's going to happen no matter what time we choose, there's going to be some sort of conflict. I mean, or, or, or somebody can't come. Um, I you know, would like to see the same people that were attending before come. Um, you know, the thing is, I've asked uh, various nonprofits in the past, to, do they want to take over again the, the TFC? Because the TFC, Center Life Future Chicago, was really in the past more run by the nonprofits and their staff. I'm a resident, and uh, you know, I think sometimes people have a different uh, way of uh, taking when a, a resident asks for a, a, a presentation versus, and they see that that way versus somebody has a, a their email address is uh, you know TNDC or you know before it was uh, it was at one point TNDC another point it was the uh, San Francisco uh, uh, mission uh, San Francisco. Well, uh, network ministries. So you know, so each each entity kind of um, uh, has a different following, and um, and this group was more in the past um, um, geared towards making sure that the uh, service providers attended because it was during the daytime. And since I've taken over, I've asked the media more participating uh, each meetings. Uh, we've uh, we have a Facebook page. In other words, I've tried to bring in more ways to. Uh, Acknowledge people to get involved, um, and uh, I also again want to wish everybody uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, uh, since it only happens once a year. And yeah, I'm Irish, so I just feel the need to keep on saying it uh, uh, for those that uh, need to convert to be an Irish. <laughs> so, is there anybody else? So we're close the meeting. If there's anything else, okay. to be said. there is a planning commission meeting. Uh, to not, uh, to today, yes, I guess, the, what time? 12. 12, uh, and there's a handful of developments um, uh, in the Tenderloin that are on the agenda. And then Susan passed out a flyer about the 10th anniversary of ten, uh, the uh, Central City Democrats, um, and it's gonna be celebrating its uh, 10th anniversary, which, uh, um, by the way, people don't understand that some of our uh, uh, entities uh, specifically try to gear towards not just residents, but residents and businesses, and this is one of them. Uh, for those who live or work in uh, District 6, and uh, uh, representing their issues, as well as that's what I've been trying to do with TFC, is trying to get more businesses on the agenda um, as, I'm heard, as I hear about them, uh, because uh, they have an impact in our neighborhood. Uh, because uh, I think what's happened at uh, the previous TFC meetings, people wanted to talk about what's going on in their agency, but it doesn't have to do with impacting the neighborhood. It has to only to go around talking about, oh, my new program is doing this, but is it impacting the neighborhood? Is it a new storefront? That kind of stuff. So that's why I try to gear these uh, meetings towards is talking about how things are impacting our neighborhood. So transportation is really one of those things. Uh, uh, lighting, you know, these are all things that are important to uh, um, those who live and work down here that have to uh, come down here every uh, uh, day. And I always appreciate Betty showing up. She's one of our uh, uh, regulars. Yeah. So, so. Well, I, I mean, I really feel this is a wonderful forum. I, I come almost every time if I can because it is a way to learn about what's going on in the gender line. Yeah. And uh, so I, I hope you, you know, Continue on, and 
Well, you know, so at some points, you know, I, I get frustrated because, you know, it, it's I have to work hard to get a, an agenda item, which pulling teeth, and uh, I think it's uh, unfortunate that some of our uh, people don't understand the value of coming here just for free publicity, yet. and we actually do put these up on YouTube. So uh, you get the free publicity, and you know they're not understanding the you know we're helping uh, promote their business or whatever the project is and stuff. Because uh, not everybody can come to a meeting too, um, and we're watching now uh, entities are now duplicating what we're doing, <laughs> which is always a uh, saying we're on the right track. Yeah, which is putting up stuff on you know on the internet. But we were the first down here uh, doing that. So uh, with that, I'll close. And of course, if you have any agenda, I just talk to talking about. Well, I'm going to talk about the St. James Infirmary on my show. I made a show. Well, we have a video on. You mean yours? Yeah, I put a shit ton of videos on every day on Public Access TV. The the presentation about the St. James Infirmary, oh, which I forgot you. to attend because of my mom's disease.